Hello, everyone. Welcome back. So for this collective reading, we're going to ask, will your job situation or financial situation improve? Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective. Knight of Wands. Next, we have, wow, Six of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Knight of Swords. Eight of Cups. Whoa, Ten of Pentacles, very beautiful card to get. And then bottom of the deck, you have the Lover's card. All right. And I'm sensing so many scenarios here, which is only understandable because it's a collective reading. Okay. So the number one message is this. For those who are resonating with you have been trying to look for a job or you have been applying for a job, I'm definitely seeing here that yes there is going to be a job offer, all right, for some of you. And I'm hearing that for others of you, this is a very, very enticing offer. Some of you guys, it can also be kind of like a foreign company is also what I heard. Or either you need to travel or you actually needed to work abroad for some of you. That's really what I heard. I don't know what's that for. And again, this is for those who are looking for a job or you have been applying for a job. But to put it in a general way, if you're looking for a job, they're showing me that, yes, you will get a job offer, especially with the six of wands over here. Number two message that I'm hearing from Spirit is that for those who are not necessarily looking into changing jobs or switching careers, and you're happy with your current job situation, it's just that maybe you're feeling impatient or you feel as if that you're not seeing any progress yet and maybe you're aiming for a promotion spirit is actually saying just keep doing what you're doing all right because eventually you will be wearing a different hat or you will be promoted okay and you'll be leaving a legacy as well with this ten of pentacles all right i'm also hearing very strongly that for others of you you will be walking away from your current job or work situation. Maybe some of you has been reflecting about it because you got the lover's card and lovers is also talking about choices or decisions. So I feel that some of you have been thinking about it. You're thinking of maybe pursuing other career opportunities out there. And so, yes, I see you walking away from your current job situation, maybe because you're no longer happy or you're beginning to sense that this is not really giving you growth anymore. All right, which will push some of you to pursue something that will really not only make you happy, but something that would really help you in your financial situation. And I'm hearing financial increase as well. Okay. But yes, to see this 10 of pentacles card, that's very, very beautiful because this is talking about wealth or success. So to the question, Will your financial situation improve or your job situation will improve? I'm definitely seeing here that it's leaning towards yes. Some of you just needed to be patient. For some of you, you need to probably walk away from something that you know deep down is what I'm hearing that is no longer working for you, okay? Maybe this is leading you towards a different career direction as well. And that's the time you would be seeing some progress in your job or career situation. Let's try to pull it more. Yes, look at that. Trapped in fear, Eight of Swords. Let's pull up another card. But look at this, the world card, wow.
and then status quo. All right, so here's what I'm seeing very, very strongly with the trap in fear. I'm hearing two messages, okay? Let me start off with this message from Spirit that I got earlier that somebody has been reflecting on walking away from their current work situation because they're not seeing any growth anymore and they're not happy anymore as well, all right? If you're resonating with that, Spirit is actually saying you know exactly what to do. But what's limiting you from pursuing other possibilities out there? It's fear, especially that you got the Eight of Swords, right? There's something about self-limiting beliefs. And this is causing stagnation as well for you. Now, speaking of stagnation, to put it in a general way, I'm getting here that this period of stagnation or you feeling as if that there's not much movement going on in your business, let's just say, or in your finances, this period or this cycle will soon be over, especially with a world card over here. Okay. And so spirit is saying, stay optimistic, stay positive with the sun card. All right. I'm going to be reading this intuitively. And I'm also picking up as well that, like what I said earlier, somebody watching this collective reading, either you will be getting a job offer overseas. I heard Spain. I don't know who is this for. Maybe you have applied for a job. And I heard the country Spain. I really don't know who is this for, but that was so, so powerful as well. And if you're resonating with that, you will get this job offer. Either you're actually going to be working there. And I'm not really picking up that this is where you are. I'm hearing that um, you're applying for a job overseas and it's Spain. I don't know who is this for. But anyway, let's try to pull it more. And especially got the world card, right? Oh my gosh, you got the six of Ariel. Before I read the message of the six of Ariel card, six of Ariel is also six of pentacles, okay? Which is a really great card to get for money. And at the same time, Archangel Ariel is the archangel that you can call upon for abundance. All right? So let's start off with that. So if you're struggling right now in your career or you're struggling right now when it comes to your finances, I would be suggesting for you guys to call upon Archangel Ariel. When you call upon Archangels, you don't need to be formal or anything like that. All right. Talk to them like a friend. All right. Seek for their guidance. Seek for their help. Okay. Somebody needed to hear that as well. But let's read this. It says, Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. Wow. So I'm really picking up that there's going to be a gift of money for a lot of you, all right? Because again, Six of Pentacles is also talking about offering assistance. So maybe some of you will be getting financial help. And at the same time, I'm also hearing, like what I said earlier, promotion. I'm really picking that up. There's going to be an offer for some of you, which will improve your current job or work situation. All right, let's try to pull it more. Okay, got three cards over here. Treasure Island. And there's a treasure chest with gold coins. Wow. You got Observer and you got Serendipity. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. You know what? I heard a very specific message just now when I saw the Serendipity card and Treasure Island card as well. For some of you, I'm really hearing that, yes, your financial situation will improve and it's going to be it's as if that there's something around luck for you or your luck is changing. So if you have been experiencing strengths of bad luck for the past few weeks, past few years or what, I'm really picking up that there's going to be a breakthrough. Okay. It's like spirit is saying, or the angels are saying, it is your time to shine. All right. It is your lucky day now, or um, you're finally going to be breaking free from any bad rut or anything that caused a lot of stagnation for you is really what I heard, which is beautiful. And at the same time, I'm also hearing that for some of you, 
I'm hearing that you're actually going to be stumbling upon uh, some sort of like a hobby without realizing that this hobby is something that would also help you financially. For instance, you just love taking photos, all right? And then for some reason, because you're really good in taking photos, you'll be offered a job and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm not expecting this. I keep on hearing unexpected ways. I keep on hearing that, all right? So I feel that maybe money is going to be coming towards you in unexpected ways. Like I'm not really expecting that there's going to be an offer of money for me. And I'm doing this just because I'm so much, you know, in love with taking pictures or I'm so passionate in doing it. I really heard that very, very strong message for someone out there. And again, with the observer card, I'm really picking up that somebody watching this collective reading is thinking like what I said of looking for other opportunities out there. Maybe you have been observing your work situation and you probably felt as if that things are really slow, especially with this turtle over here. And so I feel that this is going to be pushing some of you guys to kind of like pursue, like what I said, pursue other possibilities or other career opportunities out there. But don't worry, your luck is changing for the collective, okay? Just be patient. Let's try to pull up more. You got the leadership. Refusing to see. Hold your vision. Okay. For some of you, what I actually heard, especially with this hold your vision and refusing to see, maybe you have been contemplating about something, okay? And your guys are actually saying, all right, don't decide just yet. Hold your vision, all right? Maybe this is not the right time just yet, but sooner or later, it will be clear to you. And once it's clear, that's the time you're going to be taking action especially with this leadership card. So I don't know what's that for, but I'm hearing it's around decision, okay? You have been deciding on doing something. And so your guides are saying, just hold your vision for now. This is not the right time just yet, okay? But eventually it will be clear. And once it's clear, that's going to be your go signal to go after it. I don't know, but somebody needed to hear that me that message as well. All right, let's try to pull up another set of cards. Yin Yang. Oh, yes. Look at that. Transformation. And then healing. All right. Now, this is beautiful. I'm hearing two specific messages based on these three cards. I'm really getting here, honestly, that somebody watching this collective reading is thinking of walking away from a current work situation, just like what I said earlier. And that's because of, like what I said, you're not seeing any growth. And your soul, your spirit is longing for growth, especially with the images of the butterfly over here, all right? It's like you're seeking for some changes to happen. And like what I said, this is going to be pushing some of you to finally walk away from a job situation that is no longer making you happy, okay? And there's no balance as well. With this yin and yang, you're not seeing any balance anymore in this career. Maybe, for instance, this is just an example. You have been exerting a lot of effort, but you feel as if that you're not being paid as much, all right? And so I'm really picking up that this is going to be like encouraging you guys or pushing you guys to look elsewhere. And I'm seeing here with this transformation card as well that some of you also needed to take a leap of faith because that's what it says here too. Maybe like what I said earlier, you already know what to do, but you're holding yourself back from doing it because of fear, like what I said. And so this is your confirmation. Your guys are saying, take a giant leap of faith, all right? Others of you, 
your financial situation is also being healed. And so Spirit is saying sooner or later, you would be seeing some positive transformation or changes around your work situation, your business, or your financial situation. All right, let's try to pull up another set. Yeah, sovereignty, acceptance. Oh my gosh, crazy. I just heard that earlier. All right, what is this? You have blame. All right. So here's what I'm seeing. I'm getting here very, very strongly that for others of you, like what I said, you would be getting some sort of like an offer. And I even heard Spain earlier. So somebody has been thinking of working abroad or overseas. And I'm picking up as well that for others of you who are not necessarily, you know, thinking of working abroad, but you have been applying for a job. You got the acceptance card. So there's definitely going to be an enticing offer for you. Another message that's coming through is this. With the sovereignty card, Spirit is actually saying that you do have the power to take charge of your current situation. Yes, they do understand that you're experiencing a lot of challenges right now in your current work or in your financial situation, but they believe in your power that you can turn things around, all right? And that you can actually create the reality that you want. And that's the message of the sovereignty card. Now, with the blame card, what I'm actually hearing very strongly is this. Somebody watching this collective reading, just like what I said earlier, you already know what to do, okay? But it's like you're holding yourself back because of you might regret it later on if you try to pursue this thing that you wanted to go after. All right. And so what's happening is that you are allowing yourself to be in your own comfort zone. You're afraid to take a leap of faith because you don't want to blame yourself or even others for it. Like you're afraid that maybe if you try to pursue this thing that you have in your mind and then you would be saying, oh, my gosh, I wish I haven't, you know, um, left this previous job or I wish I shouldn't have listened to what my friend has been telling me or what other people has been telling me. So there's something around blame. And so always remember that this is your life, that you are in control of your destiny. At the end of the day, tarot is also just a guidance. It's not necessarily that you have to follow everything just because this is what the tarot reader said, or this is what my parents or my family said. Always remember with a sovereignty card that you should be in control of your destiny still. And you're being encouraged to trust and follow your own internal compass or intuition. Okay. That's what I'm getting as well. It's more of like an advice for others of you. All right. Let's try to pull up another set. Shining through. Yeah. Then you have coming together. Let's get another card here. Let's try this one. Debt. Okay. All right, so this is actually really, really interesting. So I'm seeing here that, yeah, there's going to be a breakthrough for some of you guys. I feel as well that some of you are going to be working with someone. When I saw this come together card, I'm picking up that maybe this is a perfect time for others of you to either find the right type of partnership. And I'm not talking about love partnership, of course, but I'm talking about maybe a business partner that is very reliable or you're thinking of teaming up with someone. And I'm hearing it's business as well. Okay. For others of you with this debt card over here, this is a great sign that if you have been experiencing a lot of debt or losses around money, like what I said, you got the world card earlier, that cycle is going to come to a close. All right. Maybe not right away, because again, this is a collective reading, but they're really showing me here that the cycle of debt 
will soon be over as well for some of you. I feel like pulling up two more cards from this deck. Yeah, deadlines. And then loan denied. Okay. Yeah. Some of you are feeling stressed out because of deadlines. You feel as if that you're lacking in time as well. All right. You feel as if that you're so much overwhelmed with the amount of work that you need to do. All right. You're so much in a rush. And then for others of you with this loan denied, this is probably what has happened as well for others of you. You've tried to apply for a loan, but it didn't actually got approved. Um, so I'm getting here again, all of these struggles that you have been experiencing, like what I said, it will come to a close. All right. And they're also showing me here as well that maybe you just need to be patient because I'm drawn to the image of the hourglass. So I'm hearing the word patience for some of you. And that's the advice as well from Spirit. Let's actually pull up three cards from this deck. The Emperor. Okay. Oops, a lot of cards. Let's just get two more. Then we have Three of Cups. Oops. You have Three of Swords. All right. So, yeah, this is definitely talking about the challenges that you have been experiencing in your work situation or in your financial situation. But what they're actually showing me here is that, again, the situation will improve. Some of you, you are being encouraged to take action. Because I'm hearing somebody watching this collective reading has been procrastinating or has been holding themselves back. And your guys are saying, you know exactly what to do. But what's holding you back is fear, all right? So go for it. Because remember, the emperor is somebody who takes action and is very confident about their decision as well. And then... I remember saying this at the very beginning of the reading. Somebody who's watching this collective reading, you've been feeling so frustrated because you are hoping for a promotion, all right, or this leadership role, but it's not yet happening. And again, maybe that's why I heard patience because they're actually showing me here that sooner or later, especially got the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is a celebration card. So what I actually heard is that somebody watching this collective reading will be accepting a leadership role or there's going to be a promotion, okay? And that's because your boss or your superior would be seeing that you're really fit for this role. And that's because you're very disciplined and you're very hardworking, okay? So yeah, expect some positive news with this Three of Cups um, that would be put you in a celebratory mood, all right? Whether, again, it is um, a positive news around accepting this job offer or getting a promotion, or maybe this time around, since you had this card loan denied, maybe this time around you will be approved as well. Who knows, right? But this card is also talking about with the Three of Cups, gratitude. So for some of you, you are being encouraged as well by spirit to make sure that you always exercise gratitude, okay? And make sure that you don't operate from a lack space or a lack mindset as well. All right, let's try to pull it more. Live and learn. Next, you have stress, okay? Yeah, it says pressure. So some of you are feeling so much pressured at work, maybe because of the deadlines, a lot of catching up to do. And then you got the origin card. Wow, wow. So here's what I'm seeing. For others of you, what I'm actually picking up is that either you would be applying for a new role or a new job in which you're going to be starting from scratch. Because I'm drawn to this image of the plant over here. And this card, Live and Learn, is also talking about learning something new, experience, training, or development. So I'm really picking up that somebody's probably going to be starting a new job 
And when it's new, of course, you have to undergo training or you have to kind of like learn more about this particular role, right? And so I'm seeing that for some of you. Others of you, what I'm actually hearing is that you will be pursuing more of like a type of career that is really related to your creativity. Because that's also what this origin card is all about. There's really something about creativity or hobby. And then with a stress card, like what I said earlier, spirit understands that they're going through a rough lot. You're going through a lot of stress, not only financial stress, but maybe some of you guys are just feeling very much overwhelmed at work. Um, and that's because of the deadlines or you're feeling overwhelmed because there's so much to do. And there's a lot of catching up to do. And what Spirit is actually saying that you need to take a break, all right? And maybe by taking a break, this is going to help you to feel rejuvenated as well, all right? But I'm hearing if you've been experiencing some deadlines, then there is also a message around time management because especially got the image of the hourglass. So maybe some of you guys, the advice from Spirit for you is to also exercise time management or exercise discipline um, in your work. So it will be, you know, accomplished more efficiently moving forward as well. So here's what we're going to be doing. I'll be pulling up several um, cards for you. Um, but before we actually do that, I almost forgot this fortune card. Yeah. Why don't we do this first? And then after this, I'll be pulling up some random messages from Spirit as additional advice for you. Yeah, I feel like pulling up the fortune card. Let me just shuffle this real quick. Well, you got two cards, okay? You got Karma. And then good times. So let's read the karma card. Let's go to page 16. And I'll be putting my focus more on the career section since this is a career financial reading. So it says here, karma, you shall saw as you reap rewards for those who put in the efforts, right? So let's go to the career section. It says here, this symbol will see you learning new skills. What did I say when I saw this live and learn, right? So some of you are really going to be learning new skills or you will be deepening your spiritual values or potentially changing career as well. Most especially if your current job does not involve helping others. If you're already working in the healing or caring industries, it says here, you will see your spirituality grow immensely and be sought after for your kindness, excellent counseling, or healing skills. No matter how you get involved in helping others, you will be busier and more fulfilled than ever. You may also find that you will have a way with words for family, friends, or colleagues that are troubled, helping to guide them to a brighter future. This is an incredible gift from the heavens. It's a very healing energy, you guys. And those who refuse to help others or are self-obsessed will find the symbol as a warning that there will be negative experiences ahead of them as they reap what they have sown. Okay, now let's move over to the Good Times card now. Let's go to page 12. So it says here, sizzling networking opportunities, and new adventures await. So when it comes to the career section of this Good Times card, it says, stay alert to outstanding opportunities that the time ahead will bring. Expansion and broadening your horizons is indicated with new options and opportunities to improve your finances and career coming your way. Because of your positive energy, You'll find it easier to present yourself confidently, and this confidence will definitely pay off. I was just talking about confidence earlier, right? Gosh, this is creepy. So somebody really needed to hear that message, and that's what I heard from your guides. You need to be confident. Remember, you have to embrace the emperor energy, and the emperor is somebody who's confident, who takes charge of a situation. Somebody's very ambitious and unstoppable, okay? Okay. 
So yeah, confidence is your key to success for others of you, all right? Now, before we end this reading, let me just pull up some random messages for you. Start off with this one. Oh my gosh, you got three cards. We'll read all of that. First card, it's transformation. And it says, a fresh new way of living emerges. Crazy, because you got the transformation card from a different deck earlier. That's why I love pulling up cards from several decks. I mean, come on, what are the chances, right? Look at that. Transformation. And you got it again. Which means that there is definitely going to be some sort of like um, an amazing transformation or a huge and significant shift in your career situation, all right? And it's definitely positive. Some of you are going to be changing careers, like what I said, or shifting to a different type of job, or you'll be starting something new as well, whether it's a new business or you'll be learning a new skill as well. And then you got Valiant Courage. And it says, take action with passion. Oh my gosh, we were just talking about the Emperor card earlier, right? And I even said that the Emperor is somebody who's very assertive, somebody who's very bold, somebody who takes action. Now, this is a confirmation for someone out there who's resonating with that message. Your guys are really saying that you need to take action with passion. And then you have navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss. So for those who are resonating more with you're confused about your work situation, you have been thinking of exploring other opportunities out there, your guides are saying, follow your bliss. Follow your inner voice, your internal compass, your intuition, as it will lead you to the correct path. Okay? All right, let's try to pull up another random message for you. Start off with a spirit oracle card or deck. Well, you got two. And it says, it is time to stop letting worry rule you. Instead, get excited about your future and all it will bring. What energy and emotion you put out comes back to you. With a little conscious effort on your part, that happy ending can and will be yours. Believe that. Okay, so somebody needed to hear that message. Release the unnecessary worries and instead get excited about the future. Next message for you guys is this. Instead of pushing yourself so hard, stop, breathe, and reevaluate. You are doing enough, even if it doesn't feel like it. Don't wear yourself out to the point of exhaustion. It is not worth it. Balance your time more wisely. Bingo. You saw me shuffle. I can't freaking make that up. What did I say about time management? What did I say about that earlier, right? This is creepy because that's what I heard from Spirit. When I saw the deadline card, I really heard that. Somebody watching this collective reading is feeling so stressed out and is feeling very much overwhelmed. Like, oh my gosh, there's so much more to do. I don't know how I can actually do all of these things or how can I accomplish all of these tasks, okay? And again, you got the stress card too. So I feel that the message for someone out there is resonating with this is that your guides are wanting for you to balance your time wisely. That's why I heard time management. Exercising discipline around time management, okay? And they're also encouraging for you not to be so hard on yourself. Don't wear yourself out. It's not even going to be helping you. All right? Take a step back first. Take a breather. And again, rest is very important so that you can come back feeling more energetic and more rejuvenated. Well, let's get another message for you. And you got dragon. Wow, it's the year of the dragon, by the way. And yeah, you got dragon and it says passion. That's crazy. You just got a card earlier that says take action with passion. So before I read this card, and this is really what I've been, you know, sharing to people all the time, okay, especially around work. It's very important that you pursue a job, business, or a career that is related to your passion. 
okay? Because if you're just doing a type of a career or job that is not really coming from your passion, I tell you, eventually, you would get sick and tired of it. Eventually, you would find so many reasons to quit. Either you don't want to show up for work or you feel as if that you're just dragging your feet to work. And that's because this is not your passion. So the tip for you guys is to find your passion. That's maybe why you got follow your bliss, follow your happiness. What makes you happy? What charges you up? All right. That is your key towards finding the right job or career for you. All right. So let's read this now. It says the dragon is a reminder of your strong will and fiery personality. It is also a symbol of passion and fire. You are being asked to practice self-control and be cautious so that your passion does not lead you as well into trouble. All right. So let's just pull up one last card before we end this collective reading. Anything else, spirit? All right, it says balance. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. You got balance your time wisely earlier, and now you got the balance card again. Whoa, and it says here, somebody really needed to hear this message because it kept on repeating over and over again, you guys. It says, take time to relax, indulge a little more or less, set boundaries with your work. What? That is creepy. You saw me shuffle. I can't make that up because that's my style of reading. I always believe that if I'm going to be pulling up several cards or decks, there is something that Spirit would like to highlight for all of you guys. And I noticed there's really something around balancing work and play or time management, especially for those who are resonating with you're feeling overwhelmed, you're feeling exhausted, you're feeling drained. There's so many things to do. You really don't know how to accomplish all of them. Again, Spirit is actually saying, make sure that you take time to relax. Take a breather, all right? And then manage your time wisely as well. And also, going back to what I said around rest, rest is very necessary because once you're able to get some rest, afterwards, you will be feeling much more energetic, all right? you'll be feeling much more recharged or rejuvenated, okay? So maybe this rest is also very, very much necessary for those who are going through a lot of stress at work as well, okay? So yeah, gosh, I love the synchronicity of this reading. There's really something about balance. And you saw me shuffle. I can't make that up, you guys. But I hope that all of these messages are of help to all of the people watching this collective reading. And yes, I really wish you all the best in your finances, all the best in your career or work. Blessings abound, okay? So that's it. I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye for now.